Okay, so I'm going to show you uh, the quickest and easiest way that I know of of creating a lightsaber effect in Photoshop. Uh, the finished product is going to look something like this. This took me about 15 minutes to complete which is uh, extremely fast as far as rotoscoping goes and uh, when you follow these steps uh, that's what it's going to look like so I'll start by opening up Photoshop go to file import video frames to layers and select your raw footage and hit load now I'm going to do a selected range because I only need a uh, about three or four frames to get the point across. So there we go. That's good. And when you're done loading in your video, it will appear in this window here. And the individual frames will be down here in the timeline. And they also will come up as individual layers in the layers panel. Another window you're going to want to have open is the actions panel, which you can find in window and then just check the actions icon okay you start creating your blade by uh, tracing the outline with your polygon select tool and then you're going to go to the actions panel hit this box here create a new action and I'm going to call this one lightsaber Okay, hit record, and you can see this button here is highlighted, meaning everything you do from here on out will be recorded into this action for playback later, and uh, it'll continue to do so until you hit the stop button. Alright, so the first thing you do to create the effect is go to select, refine edge, bring all the values down to zero except for smooth which you're going to bring up to about 40 and what that's going to do is round off the uh, tip of your blade so hit OK then go to filter distort diffuse glow and bring all the values down to zero and what that's going to do is create the uh, white tube that's going to act as your blades core so hit OK. Now go to Select, Refine Edge once more. Go to Contract Expand and move that slider up to plus 100. Then slowly feather out the edge so that you have this nice space here for creating the outer glow. So hit OK. Then go to Filter distort and diffuse glow again go to and uh, put the clear amount all the way up to 20 and then gradually bring up the glow amount to I would say 15 so that you have this uh, nice uh, shine coming off of your blade core and without it being uh, too much to uh, in which case it would wash out the uh, core. You don't want that to happen. You want that core to remain well defined. So hit OK. And you're, to uh, create your color, go to Image, Adjustments, Color Balance, and go to Highlights. And in this case, I'm going to make a green blade. So I'm going to bring up the green highlight to 70 then go to the midtone and bring uh, the green in the midtones up to 100 which would which uh, makes it a nice saturated green and to make it a little more vibrant go back to highlights and bring up the yellow just a little bit I think it makes the blade come out a little bit brighter so hit OK and as you can see all these things that you're doing to create this uh, lightsaber are being recorded in this action which is nice when you're done you won't have to do them again uh, the next step uh, is select 
refine edge once uh, once again and this time you're only going to feather out just slightly just so that some of the uh, background image is caught within the selection and after you've done that you're going to hit OK and go to filter blur and Gaussian blur and you're going to bring that up to about 3.5, 3.3 and what this does is it'll blend the blade in with the background and it'll soften the blade core so it's you don't have this uh, stark outline inside there it'll look a little more like plasma when you're done alright so there you go hit OK last thing you do is hit command D and stop the recording so now all this entire process is recorded in this action so for instance if you go to the next frame make sure it's selected in the layers panel and outline your lightsaber blade all you have to do from here is hit the play button in the actions panel and it's replicated exactly and you can do this over all the frames in the video this makes the process a lot quicker a lot easier and uh, if you'll notice uh, the effect only I didn't have to create any new layers to uh, finish the effect which is a good thing when you're making an animation because additional layers make things a little more complicated uh, I just don't like using them when I'm rotoscoping I'd rather keep it all in the same layer so when that's done all you have to do is export the video so go to file export uh, render video I'm gonna make a quick time movie at 24 frames per second I'm gonna call it Light Saber Roto Hit Render and I'm just gonna hide Photoshop and show you the finished product And there it is, I hope you enjoyed